Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on functions. Here is the exam question. The functions f and g are defined by f of x equal kx over 2x minus 1. x is any real number. x is not equal to 1 over 2. g of x equal 2 plus 3x minus x squared. x is any real number. Where k is a non-zero constant. This means that k is not equal to 0. Part A, find in terms of k, part 1, f of g of 4. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part 1. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part 1. So we've got f of g of 4. This is a composite function. We can rewrite it as follows. f square bracket g of 4. So the input for the function f is g of 4. Now we need to find the value of g of 4. We can substitute x equal 4 into the function g of x. So if I do this, I get minus 2. So this becomes f of minus 2. Now we can substitute x equal minus 2 into the function f of x. So if I do this, I get k lots of minus 2 all over 2 lots of minus 2 minus 1. This simplifies to minus 2k over minus 5, which in turn simplifies to 2k over 5. Hence, f of g of 4 in terms of k is just 2k over 5. Let's have a look at part 2. Find, in terms of k, the range of f. Please pause the video, have a go at part 2. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Here is the solution to part 2. So we've got the function f of x equal kx over 2x minus 1. So over here, we've got a rational function. To find the range of f, we're going to start by sketching the graph of f of x. Once we've got the graph of f of x, we can focus on the y-axis in order to determine the y-values of f of x. In other words, to determine the range of f of x. Now over here, the rational function, we can split it into quotient plus remainder over divisor. So we have to apply polynomial division. So here is my division sign. Inside, I can put kx. And outside, I can put the divisor, 2x minus 1. So I take kx and I divide by 2x. This gives me k over 2. So now I can take k over 2 and I can expand it with 2x minus 1. This gives me kx minus k over 2. Subtracting these expressions gives me k over 2. The process terminates here. So this rational function is equal the quotient, which is k over 2, plus the remainder, k over 2, over the divisor, 2x minus 1. So now we can sketch the graph of f of x. We start by finding the y asymptote and the x asymptote. The y asymptote is the outer term, k over 2. So y equal k over 2 is the y asymptote. To find the x asymptote, we need to set the denominator 2x minus 1 equal to 0. So 2x minus 1 equal to 0 gives me x equal 1 over 2. This is the x asymptote. Now I'm going to sketch the graph for the case k is greater than 0, then I'm going to determine the range. If I sketch the graph for k is less than 0 and determine the range, I will still get the same answer. So for simplicity, let's have a look at the case k is greater than 0. Okay, so if k is greater than 0, then the numerator over here, k over 2, is greater than 0. Hence, the shape of this graph will be as follows. If I substitute x equals 0 into the function f of x, this will give me 0. So f of 0 is equal 0. So the y-intercept is just 0, 0. That's my y-intercept. Right, so here is my graph. I've got the y-axis, I've got the x-axis. My x asymptote is 1 over 2, so x equal 1 over 2. It is the vertical line cutting the x-axis at 1 over 2. My y-asymptote is k over 2. Now, k is greater than 0, so k over 2 is greater than 0, so my y-asymptote will look something like this y equal k over 2. Horizontal line cutting the y-axis at k over 2. And we know that the y-intercept is 0, 0. Okay, so we can sketch in 
this shape over here. Okay, so that's my first curve. That's my second curve. Now, to find the range of f, I need to focus on the y-axis. So, I've got y is greater than k over 2, or y is less than k over 2. Therefore, the range is y is greater than k over 2, or y is less than k over 2. In other words, the range is y is not equal to k over 2. Okay, let's have a look at part 3. Find, in terms of k, part 3 f inverse, the inverse function. Please pause the video, have a go at part three. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Okay, so part three. What we need to do is start by setting, or you could say let y equal your f of x, which is kx over 2x minus 1. So we need to make x the subject. So firstly, I can multiply y by 2x minus 1. This will give me kx, okay? So now I can expand the bracket. So if I do this, I get 2xy minus y equal the kx. I can collect the x terms. So I've got 2xy minus kx equal, take the minus y to the right-hand side. So that becomes y. At this stage, I can take out a common factor of x. So if I do this, I get x in bracket 2y minus k equal y. So now I can make x the subject. So x is equal y over 2y minus k. I must replace the x with f inverse of x. And the y's, I can replace it with x. So I've got x over 2x minus k. Now, whenever you find the inverse function, you must state the domain of the inverse function. So domain of f inverse of x. So this is the range of the original function. The range of the original function is y is not equal to k over 2. But for the domain of the inverse function, you will not write y, but you will write x. So we have x is not equal to k over 2. So this completes part A, part 1, part 2 and part 3. Let's have a look at part B of the question. Given that f inverse of 2 is equal 11 over 3g of 2, part B, find the value of k. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. We're going to start by finding the value of f inverse of 2. So what we have is that we can substitute x equal to into the inverse function for f. This will give me 2 over 2 lots of 2 minus k. This fraction over here simplifies to 2 over 4 minus k. Now we're going to work out 3 of g of 2. So 3 of g of 2. So this is 3 multiplied by g of 2. We can substitute x equal to into the function g of x. This gives me 4. So I've got 3 times 4, which is 12. So that equation there reduces to the equation 2 over 4 minus k. Okay, so 2 over 4 minus k equal 11 over 3 of g of 2, which is 12. Now we can solve the equation involving k. We can cross multiply. So 2 times 12 is 24, equal 11 multiplied by 4 minus k. We can expand the bracket. So that will give me 44 minus 11 k. Take the 44 to the left hand side. This gives me minus 20 equal minus 11 k. Now divide by minus 11 on both sides. So this gives me k equal 20 over 11. That there ladies and gents completes pure mathematics exam question on functions. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.